This is Gabriel Gonzalez for MMA Encaged here with Layla and Ali, now Layla Machado Gary, here at Karate Combat 40. Uh, Layla, I mean, part of a big, big broadcast, but you are no stranger to being part of big events. I mean, what's this vibe like compared to being out there, F1 and all these other things? It's so different. So martial arts in general is so different to the rest of the world. I come mostly from a football background. I've done a lot with uh, UEFA and the football Premier League in general, right? What you guys say, soccer, right? Yes. Um, it's so different. Martial arts is just so unique and there's nothing really comparable to it. It's niche still. So it's, you know, a little, it's smaller than the huge, uh, uh, football events, but karate combat itself within the mixed martial arts world is even more unique to everything else there. Um, I wrote today on my socials and I stand by it so firmly. I believe this is the most open-minded and evolutionary promotion there is. We see changes, drastic changes every show that leapfrog it forward to be improved every single time. And we have this like red carpet party family vibe. It's unreal. We've got fighters walking around the red carpet you've got our commentary team who feature you know middleweight former middleweight champion of UFC Luke Rockhold but legend Baz Rutan Josh Palmer who's just an unreal commentator Robin Black here as well amongst the fighters and the guests and and there's also this digital world that karate combat invigorates and excites that crosses paths here as well so it's very unique I gotta say I am sold uh, can I ask you you're a Florida resident if I'm not mistaken oh. I am a resident of God knows where right now. <laughs> Ian and I have been living out of a suitcase in hotels and Airbnbs for almost two and a half years. The truth is, from the moment he got signed, actually we went on a holiday, so he won his Cage Warriors title fight and we booked, because his ego knows he was going to win, right? We booked our celebratory holiday to Costa Rica. As you should. We went to that holiday and we've never gone back. <laughs> So he signed the contract on the plane and we've just been traveling and traveling and trying to, you know, find the best place for his growth every time. And obviously my work travels a lot as well. So between the two of us, we've been pretty nomadic gypsies for the last two and a half years. Now we're basing ourselves out of Brazil, um, but we don't have our home as such. I was going to say, because I know he's obviously gotten a lot of work in here at Cl Kill Cliff nearby yeah. in Florida. Yeah. As someone who comes from the soccer world, what can fans in Miami expect when Leo Messi comes in this year? Oh, it's so exciting! It's insane! The first thing is obviously Messi comes with all the skill and wonderful just emotion that comes around Messi. But when you add Messi to something, what happens is every other footballer wants to do the same. Everyone wants to be around him. He's a magnet. I know this from like even little minor elements. I did an Adidas show back in the day and it was we were always fighting to get the new footballers, fighting to get this person, that person. Then we did a big interview with Messi. From that moment on, every footballer wanted to be on our show. You know, it changes. So so I think you're going to see a big change in the Miami lineup because you're just going to have an influx of other footballers now. Now I want to ask you some other things. Obviously you were very involved in MMA, now married to Ian, out of respect kind of took a step back is it's what you once told weird, me. Yeah, yeah, it's a weird balance, a bit of conflict of interest in some views. Can I ask like, do you ever miss like, you know, some big fights, not in his weight class, not in his division, he will never fight them, he's not about to gain 100 pounds and fight Jones and Gone and yeah. them. Are there some fights that you're like, you know what, I would love to be a part of this, I would love to be doing some content and broadcasting. Do you know what? It's a, I, I think I got lucky with the timing. Because I've already done so much, to me it's like quite nice to not be working it. And I can sit there and just watch and not worry about it. I can be more opinionated on my own socials or wherever I want and not worry about someone being offended or not giving me a job or anything political. Um, which is probably why I'm getting in way more trouble <laughs> because I'm just saying how I feel. So um, As we all do when yeah. we get like that, don't we? <laughs> We do, we were passionate, we have opinions. Um, and how dare I be a woman with an opinion? So yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't miss it that much. And I'm getting it from a whole different world. You know, I'm around these fighters a lot anyway, so I'm very happy. Uh, final question, you posted about it and fans, you know, I know they like to say a lot of things and they don't understand the name change, not just for yourself, but for Ian also. As I understood it, so your maiden name, you know, is Machado? So, yes, 
So what we what happened was, I think one article came out that confused everyone because it was an outright lie, um, and that's where everything started to go downhill. One person tells a lie with a sense of authority, and you know we we listen to it and we think it's all right. Often people also will read just a headline and not the whole story, and the headline is misleading. Then they think they know everything, and it's like you didn't read the whole article, did you now? And that's happened to us. Um, also, the fact that I had a stage name, Layla Anna Lee, was never my real name. I absolutely made it up for privacy because I used to be a very private person. Dating Ian Gary means you sacrifice that. But um, uh, so I was very private and I had Layla Anna Lee. So I think the name, they thought that was my real name and that confused a lot of people. Um, my name from my family in Brazil is all Machado. Um, and so when I married Ian, what we do a lot in Latin America is you match the two names together, Machado, Gary. Um, the stories that came out were that Gary took my ex-husband's name and that Gary sacrificed his own and now, none of that is true. Ian simply added my name and his name together and so he is officially Ian and his surname is Machado Gary. I think another article came out said he changed the future nickname to Machado and that's not it either. <laughs> uh, it's just people just getting over confused and over complicating something very simple. We got married, we added our names together, that's it. Now I will say in all honesty I had I was under the assumption like Anna middle name Lee last name I was a little confused too you know you have it hyphenated in there and it's like does she run out of room or is it a hyphen you understand you know you read these things and Do you, you don't get the, it the true story about oh, Layla yeah. Anna Lee absolutely this is many years ago I was on a train on my way to an audition and it was a big audition and my agent said to me if you get this gig some things could change for you you may need to want to like you know start hiding your surname change a few things and I was like mm, what should I do and my name was Layla and I was trying to make up during one train journey a new surname I wanted a hyphenated name because in England people who have double barreled names are usually very successful and make a lot of money and so my theory was oh I want a double barreled name like all those rich folk in England I like this strategy that was the first thing um, I was a massive fan of Pamela Anderson do you remember Pamela Anderson of course who, who can't I mean who, who doesn't remember the slow motion of course <laughs> exactly a blonde big titted slow yeah she's unreal yeah let's not get into that <laughs> <laughs> um, not only is she cool on so many levels she's also a very smart businesswoman and I was a fan of hers she married Tommy Lee and added a barrel name so she became Anderson Lee my middle name at the time was Anna I kept I added Layla Anna Lee oh to add to that, I then passed a train station that was called Annerley train station on my way to this audition. So I just kind of made it up out of nowhere, confused the world. I love it. I think that's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. Uh, finally, uh, you know, can't help but notice, very purple. Um, how are we liking it? Do you feel like you'll stick with it? Do you feel like, you know what, I'm going to change this very soon? This might be the last night of the purple hair. We did it for Ian's last fight. The color of royalty. He always likes to theme his fights with colors and he had a purple suit made. And those six shoes. Real, right? It was so cool. You, got the, you can't see it. She's got pandas too. Okay, got pandas. Yes, no shame. Love it. <laughs> And um, we, yeah, we theme all our fights. We have so much fun with it. Um, and so he had a purple jacket. I didn't really want to be too matchy-matchy with a purple dress, so I dyed my hair purple. It's actually something he wanted me to do since his world title fight in Cage Warriors, but I refused for a long time. And then when he's going to be crowned in the top 15, I thought, oh, I need to do this now. He deserves this now. Um, but it's hella upkeep, and I don't have a lot of time for that. I'm not that vain. I, I want to be like wash and go. So I don't think it's going to last. Well, Layla, I got to... The biggest respect I could give you, you are what they call a real one. Thank you. And I think that's the best thing, I, best compliment I could give you. You still kill it at your job, but the support you and Ian have for each other, it's like, no, that is what everyone should want, right? And I think that's very respectable. I think it's cool how much you guys embrace it. I'm a big fan of watching you on the broadcast. Your enthusiasm for it really comes out. I'm a big fan of that as a broadcaster myself. So just a lot of love your way. Best of luck for his fight with Jeff Neal coming up and have a great show as well. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Best of luck with everything you do. I know it's not easy, but also I, I, I want to talk about tonight or does this go out after course, tonight? It might be after. It might be after. So there's no yeah. point in me saying what I think, uh, how excited I am about it. Go for it, of course. Why not? Agaev, Rafael Agaev versus Joshua Quayhagen. That's got to be blowing your mind right now. Unifying no? the titles, both of them kick butt. All of them want some bragging rights. Everyone wants a piece of this. Did you hear what Quayhagen said about Agaev being the goat? I did. Oh, I, I think it. he's getting in his mind mentally. I think it's the false sense of security. 
clever. So Kwai Hagen said that I don't want to be the goat, recognizing a guy as a goat. I just want to beat the goat. Oh, I was just like, this is so good. I think he's uh, learning them in, Leila. I think it's like, yeah, you're great. You're all, and then he's out there. It's like, come on. What happened to that guy? They're killing people on the bag backstage. I think hey, I think Ben the Bane just broke his leg once again. <laughs> Layla. Have you seen Luke Rockhold's leg after doing this? I did. Ask him to show you the bruises. Ask him to show you. It's no joke.